Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please hit, smash that like button, as I say, you know, smash that like button, give me a thumbs up. Uh, today's video is about, you know, my my profession and radiology, radiology th technologists. Uh, I've been having a few questions on my videos lately. Um, I guess people are thinking about going back to school and they're searching up, you know, radiology tech fields or any kind of fields, medical field, whatever it is. And uh, I've been having some questions lately. So, um, you know, I've been kind of, I want to put more information out um, to the best of my ability of, you know, what I know about the field. So I had a question about, you know, you know, is it better to go to a public or um, a private college? So there's pros and cons to both, you know? So if you can, my, I went to a private college, so I don't have anything wrong or against private colleges. I went to one, if I would have known back then what I know now, I wouldn't have went to one, you know? Uh, the reason is, is, you know, when you go to a, a public, you go to a public university, a public college, they used to be called community colleges back then. Now they're called state, state college. Um, uh, I think that's what they're called now. State colleges, yeah. Like now the, the school I went to is called South Florida State College for my bachelor's. So now they're called state colleges. They're not, I don't think they're no longer called community colleges. But anyway, when you go to a, a state college, which is a public university, a public college, first of all, it's cheaper. You know, you're looking at a program you know, you your whole two-year program with your prerequisites. You know, you're probably looking at no more than, I'm gonna guess, probably eight to ten thousand. Um, don't quote me, of course. But every state is different, but that's kind of like your average. Um, and you have to be a state resident, of course, because now you, if you're out of state, you're gonna get the out of state resident charge or whatever. So, and I think it takes a year to be a resident. So if you have to move, uh, you to become a state resident, you have to be there for a year, I believe. Um, so anyway, state college or your public colleges is cheaper. Uh, you get better education for the sole purpose is that when you go to a state college, usually they have the best radiology sites. So you go and go to the to your HCA hospitals, um, you know your um, Advent Health hospitals, like the big universities usually are the big hospitals. Excuse me, universities, big hospitals, they all go to the state. Um, to the state public colleges, they have contracts with them, and they know you have you have better you have better students that want to learn. You have better education, better teachers. In my opinion, um, I say that only because when you go to a state public college, it's on you if you want to learn, if you want to you know go to class on time, if you want to you know show up and you know do your best and pass. You, the college professor is not going to come and be like, hey, why don't you go to class today? Yeah, there's, you know, there, there's a policy, you know, you miss three classes, you're probably kicked out, or if you're late three times, it's kind of an absent or whatever. But they're not going to sit there and be like, hey, why don't you go to school? Hey, you know, you missed this. Hey, you know, here's the time you got to make up. They don't care. And there's a fact that they don't care. There's a fact that you're an adult. And if you're ready to make that commitment, you have to do it. You know, they're not going to sit there and babysit you and be like, oh, you got to go to college. You got to miss this. You got to come to class. You got to go to your clinical site on time. You got to make sure you do this. Um, and yes, they care about the clinical sites more than they care about you because that's that a, a program without a clinical site is no program. You know, so no matter you can be the best A student, you know, you can show up in class every day. But if you mess, if you mess up their clinical site you're gonna get kicked out because their clinical site comes first because that's what makes the program continue going. You have to be a good student all around, you know, whether you're gonna to go to class or you're gonna to go to the clinical side, you're gonna to have to you're gonna to have to be a great student. That's another that that's another video. But I'm just letting you know. That's the good thing about a state college. Now I don't have like I said, I don't have anything about a, a private college like your there's a few I I'm in Florida so you have like Kaiser University here, you have um Rasmussen um, there's one called Hodges. Um, there's other, um, Nova, Nova Southeastern or Nova State. You can't really count Nova anymore as a private. It is private, but they're a, a big university. So it's kind of like they don't really count in that situation. But as far as like the other ones I mentioned, those are private colleges. So the difference between those is that tuition is 
crazy expensive like when i went to private school i was like 10 years ago and like i said i didn't know anything about private school i didn't know the difference i just knew that i want to be a radiology tech and i don't care what school i went to so i went to a private school and you know there's certain accreditation bodies and certain things that your program has to be in place for you to sit for your art registry which is your main board to become certified in radiology i didn't know about that i was like you know what i'm going to college who cares you know, so my college costs 30,000 and I didn't have no credits going in. So I had to do my um, algebra, my English one. Um, I think I take medical terminology, um, speech, um, what else, something else. And then after that, while going, while doing like a class of radiology, kind of like mixed in, I got done in two years, which was good, but it's a private college, man. It's a private college. So I didn't know about the JCERT accreditation. We weren't even JCERT certified to sit for our board. I didn't know that. So I was sitting there going to school for two years, not knowing that this accreditation body determined if I can sit for my boards or not and be a certified radiology tech. Can you imagine going to school for two years, you know, busting your butt, driving to school, you know, going to clinicals, putting all your work in, and then in the end be like, oh, you know what? We, you can't sit for your boards because we're not JCS certified. You know, you can't sit for your ART. You can't, you can't be a tech. So you're telling me that I went to school for two years and I can't even sit down to take my boards. That's scary, man. That's scary. Nobody wants to go through that, you know? And I just, I just got blessed, man. We got blessed. We're the guinea pigs of that class. Um, my school is still there, but it's, um, it's a different name now. But that's the scary part of going to a private college is that you never know. They're not accredited by the proper accreditation bodies like a state and a public college, you know, has. And I don't know if you guys remember, but um, at least here in Florida, I think it was actually nationwide. Uh, if you remember that private school called ITT Tech, it was like for, you know, um, technical stuff like computer, IT or whatever. From one day to the next, man, you show up, students showed up and the, the doors were locked, closed. They didn't tell nobody anything. And there goes, people are like ready to graduate the next month and boom, you know, you go to class and the the, the doors are closed. And you're like, what, what do you, what, you know, what, what do you mean that, you know, I can't get my education. I, I got one week left. Are you going to close the doors after I have one week left for me to finish my career? But what can you do? That That's that's a state, that's a private college. That That's what you get with that. You know, so you have to, I understand how hard it is to be like, oh, I got to go to a public college and a public university. I had to take all my prerequisites. Then I had to be selected to get into the program, you know, and yeah, you had to be selected. Just put your time in, you know, if you don't get in the first time, try again. The only time that I would say to go to a, pub, a private university is when you get all your prereqs out the way from a state college get all your prereqs out the way. And if you already tried to get into your state college program and you didn't make it, at least try twice. That's my thing, try twice. And if you didn't get in the second time, be like, okay, now I'm gonna go to a private college because I wanna get into you know this program. I know that I can get into it because I already have my prereqs. I'm gonna just go over there, suck it up, you know, and do the, and do my time, you know, do my, do my schooling. That's the only time I would tell you to go for it because it is, I understand, you know, you get older, and you don't want to wait and sit there and be like, oh, am I going to get accepted? All oh, my program only offers once a year. If I don't get accepted this year, I got to wait till next year. Like, I understand that. I know it's a pain. You know, when I went to radiology school, I was already older, man. I was 27 years old. So, and like I said, I didn't know about accreditation. I didn't know about public and state college. All I knew was college. That's all I knew. So I went and I took the first route. But, you know, I'm here to tell you guys that, you know, that try to, I'm trying to break up the difference a little bit and seeing if you kind of understand and like I said, I don't have anything about, pri I don't have anything against private colleges, but they are a little harder. It, it, it's, you have to be smart. And there's good private colleges out there, you know. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of them. I'm just throwing names out there. Um, if you do get your prereqs and you, say you get your anatomy and all that out the way and you, you don't want to wait to get selected and you want to go to a private college, I think a good one in Florida is Kaiser. I think Kaiser's a good private college because they're kind of they're kind of growing and they're kind of becoming the next Nova, which is a, the other private college I talked about. So I think Kaiser's probably the best one out of the private colleges to go to for radiology. Any other program, I'm not sure. 
but you know that's the difference and the, th the, th the other thing about private college is that when you enter the program and you try to go to a clinical site to get your hours because you have a certain amount of hours that you have to have before you sit for your boards private colleges have a hard time getting some good radiology sites you know because the state and the public colleges already took all of them all of the good ones you know so they kind of like have to they kind of have to get what is left like your outpatient centers or your smaller hospitals that nobody really knows about that you know you don't get a lot of experience in we just do portable chest and you know a ct brain here and there you know you don't get a lot of exposure put it that way you'll get your hours but you don't get the exposure and the um, yeah basically the exposure that you need to be able to become a good radiology tech uh another note so when i went to a private college right I didn't know about when I got into the field and in, in the radiology field that I wanted to go into management. And you know, in order for you to become a management, say a radiology manager, radiology director, you have to have your bachelor's. You have to. Uh, there's no way around it. There's little places out there that you can work at a hospital and then you don't have to have your bachelor's and you just have the associates and you just kind of move up the ranks. There's places like that. But 99% of the people, or not people, but you know, companies, organizations, they want your bachelor's degree and they sometimes they want your master's to become a director. So you just have to keep on moving up. The thing about a private school is that if you go to a private school without no credits, like I did, your credits do not transfer to university. So be careful when they say that, be like, oh yeah, we're Kaiser University, um, we're Rasmussen, or I'm mean, like I said, I'm not trying to say anything bad about those names, about the colleges, I'm just giving you an example of what happens. They're like, oh yeah, we're a accredited college, you know, you can sit for your boards, which is probably true, you can sit for your radiology boards. But say you wanna be like, you know what, I'm in a radiology field for two years, I wanna be a, say I wanna be a manager. You can't go, say, to University of Florida or University of Miami or any university that's a public college and be like, look, I got my bachelor's, I mean, I got my associates in radiology, I wanna get my, I wanna get my, you know, my bachelor's now. They're gonna tell you no. Your your credits from a state from a p private university do not transfer to a state college because a state college has the higher accreditation bodies, and they look at the private the private colleges and the private courses as um, not as I can I explain like not as a high standard as a private as a public college. So they're not gonna let you transfer that. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna be like, oh, well, my bachelor's gonna do. Oh, Kaiser's gonna be like, oh, we have a bachelor's program. Just come do your bachelor's in, you know, we're us. You know, you don't have to worry about nothing. You're, we already know your stuff. So think about that. So you go to Kaiser, you already paid $40,000 for your radiology program, which if you would've waited, you would've went to a state college or a private college, you would have some patients and paid 8,000. Okay. So then you'll be like, oh, we, have, we also offer the, pro the bachelor's program. So the bachelor's program is going to cost you another fifty thousand dollars to get. So and for you to get a radiology, a radiology, you know, program, your radiology license with your bachelor's from a private college, you're looking at close to a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred grand. You know how long it's going to take you to pay a hundred grand off just to get your bachelor's at a private college? It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. And you go into a radiology field, you're not going to make. 50 bucks an hour, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna make that kind of money. You're gonna live good, but you're not gonna make that kind of money to be like, oh, I gotta, I want a house, I want a new car, I wanna go on vacation, I want new clothes, and then be like, oh, but I owe 100 grand, you know, to a private college. You can't do that, you have to, You. I'm not saying you can't do it. If you have the money, hey man, if you don't care about, you know, not having to pay, about paying loans, you know, for 30, 40 years, Hey, go for it. I'm not saying anything bad about it. But, you know, do you really want to pay that much money? You know, you're going to be like, oh, you know, I got paid. And then like, dang, 800 bucks a month is going to go to my to my college because I have to pay it. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I don't pay it, then my credit is going to go bad. You know, without credit, you have nothing, to be honest. You know, credit is everything. So you have to make sure you have a good credit. Uh, but anyway, but that's that's the difference, man, between a public and a private university, you know. Um, yes, you know, the, a private college will get you what you need as far as to sit for your boards and be like, okay, yeah, it, it served its purpose, but don't go in it, to my opinion, 
do not go in it without any prerequisites. If you can, at least do all your prerequisites at a state public college and then transfer that to um, whatever private college you want to go to just for the program. You know, because that would also save you a lot of money. So say you don't go, say you go to a private college with no prerequisites, you're looking at like $40,000 for your prerequisites and your program. Whether it's radiology, nursing, it don't matter. You know, so, but if you get your prerequisites first, your prerequisites, your prerequisites from a state college, a public college will always, always transfer to a public college. But your prerequisites from a, from a public college, from a private college, excuse me, your prerequisites from a private college will never, ever transfer to a state college, ever, because it doesn't meet that standard, just so y'all know. So, but anyway, so if you do your prerequisites at a public state college, and then you go to a private college, you cut your, your tuition in half. So instead of your program being 45,000, your program is gonna be like 20,000. So 20,000, a little bit more manageable, be like, okay, on $20,000, you know, a state college was 10, 20,000 is a little more, but it's not, it's not gonna kill you more as far as like, oh my God, you know, it's gonna be like that much of a difference. But if you don't go with no credits at all, and you know, you're gonna go in there just blindly and be like, okay, I'm gonna pay $50,000 for everything, don't do that. And plus, if you start your prerequisites at a state college, and then you only do your program at a private college. And if you want to get your bachelor's, you you already got your prerequisites from a state college. You can transfer those to the university without any issues, any issues. And you get your bachelor's program, your bachelor's degree so much cheaper and so much easier. But anyway, guys, I hope that this helped a little bit. I know it's a lot. It's a lot. I've been to many colleges. I, I've, you know, I've been through, through a lot, you know, as far as like any, you know, the education circuit, I guess you can say. So I know a lot about it, man. I, I've been through it, I know, and um, that's why I try to help you guys. So when I have questions like this, I like to help. Uh, I like to, you know, if you leave a comment on my video, I'll get back to you, you know, as soon as I can. But I wanna help. I want to, I want to help you guys make the, the right decision for you, for your future, and um, that's why I'm here. All right, guys, as always, you know, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for watching my channel. Till next time.